Good morning. It's so good to be with you today. The last couple of Sundays, Pastor Rob has been preaching about the life of David. Uh, David was a shepherd. David was a king. He uh, led the Israelite army into battle as a warrior. Uh, David struggled with temptation and sin. We we hear so much about the life of David in the Old Testament, and I always love studying about David because you really see um, the depth of how he struggled, what he struggled with. My favorite description of David is in Psalm 32, where it said that David was a man after God's own heart. With all that David struggled with, the leadership position that he held, he ultimately was a man after God's own heart. He sinned, he messed up, he repented, and he continued to be a man after God's own heart. It gives me such hope that through my struggles, through my temptations, through my humanity, that I can still be a woman after God's own heart. I can still be forgiven. I can still start fresh. And that's great reassurance for me. It gives me a great amount of hope with how I live my life. Well, David certainly put God first. David put others first. And I have a challenge for you today that I hope you'll actually um, take on for the next couple of days because I think it can be sort of life-changing. We tend to focus on ourselves so much more than we focus on others. I think it's in our nature to be self-centered. Um, so I heard this on the radio the other day and I thought it was so helpful. You know, when you walk into a room, you come, you kind of think, okay, well, here I am. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what kind of um, connections we can have. But we sort of have that focus on ourselves. Well, instead of walking into a room and saying, here I am, walk into a room and say, there you are. Put the focus on the other people that you encounter, the other people that you engage with on a daily basis. It's a great way to sort of shift that focus in our minds from ourselves to others. So instead of saying, here I am, think, there you are, and see where that conversation might lead. See how you might be able to focus on others and what they might be going through. It's a great way to live out our faith it's a great way to put others above ourselves on a daily basis. So as you continue to live as a man or a woman after God's own heart, putting God first in your life, I hope you'll put others first in your life as well. Have a great day today.